welcome to Space Station. We're ready to receive. Over. As we move closer to the year 2000, we must prepare our children for the demands of a technological age. Their adult working lives will span the years 2010 to 2050. And while there's no way to know the exact challenges they will face, we do know that to be successful in the workplace of the future, students will have to be able to work with others, process and analyze information, and be creative problem solvers. Four, three, two, one. Launch that probe. The challenges of the future have a direct impact on what we teach and how we teach in schools today. That's why Addison Wesley has created Quest 2000, exploring mathematics. This complete K through 6 basal mathematics program incorporates the latest research on how children learn. This research shows that thinking-based programs promote understanding so that more students can successfully learn basic number facts and arithmetic procedures. How many sides does any quadrant have to have? Students instinctively apply thinking and reasoning skills when problems are meaningful or relevant to them. The curriculum and evaluation standards for school mathematics from the National Council of Teachers of Mathematics has provided the blueprint for how to implement necessary changes in mathematics instruction across the nation. We have a monumental task to make sure that we offer things that are meaningful but in a variety of ways so that every student has an opportunity to be able to bring out the, the best of what they have to offer. David, can you tell me how many squares are in a 3 by 4 Kids need to see the connection with what they're doing, with what's out there in the real world. And if they do, then the math becomes more meaningful to them, and they're more apt to learn it, too. I really feel that this is the direction we need to go with math. It's a very new look to what we've ever seen before. And to me, though, that was exciting. Daniel has a two by four, and he's going to check with Carol Ann and Anthony and Samira and get all of their two by fours. And then you're going to the content in Quest 2000 is organized around big mathematical ideas. Integrating multiplication and geometry helps these third graders learn multiplication facts in a richer context filled with meaning. Your job is to work with the partner next to you to draw a box that will hold 12 dozen tapes. In this lesson, sixth graders understand the need to learn computational skills because they are presented in the context of a real world problem. Meaningful math that approximates how students will use math changes the attitudes of students. Success is measured by students' abilities to apply mathematical skills and reasoning to solve problems. If you put six this way and then six this way and then put another layer on top of it, six, six going this way. And the approach of Quest 2000 makes the difference. Students see that math is not a set of skills isolated from context and purpose, but rather a way to reason and make sense of situations familiar to them in their world. It's 144. Yeah. How about 18 and 6? 18 times 600. 18. 18. I don't think so. 108. 108. Okay. Oh, this is hard. The new math, it's like, you can use it in everyday life. It's something that's not made up. You'll see a young gentleman in a tall hat. Math games like this one help motivate students to learn. The player places the array card anywhere on his game board. Once the array card is placed, it cannot be moved. The array game gives students another way to think about multiplication. They understand what multiplication means. And students naturally remember more than if they just memorize facts. There's a three by three. Megan, how many squares is that all together? Nine, okay. Five, five by two. I need a two by two. It's challenging, it's fun. When I'm having fun, I usually learn more. Three times four would be... 
Okay. What I really liked about the Quest 2000 um, program was the hands-on, the, the opportunity for kids to talk about what they were doing, to strategize and, and talk about their strategies that they use, uh, lots of lots of problem solving, and making it interesting for the kids. If you've got the kids, then more likely they're going to learn. So it's like math, but fun. Give me one way you could count them up. You could count by five smart. Is that agreeable to you? This second grade class explores strategies used to count large quantities of items as they develop an understanding of place value. When calculators are used as a tool, students become comfortable handling large numbers and develop a strong number sense. I get it. If you got 80. If one million kids climbed in onto one another's shoulders, they would be... Anybody want to make a prediction, Chris? Would touch the clouds. They would touch the clouds. That's a good... Students eagerly communicate their math discoveries to each other and the teacher. If, a trillion... if you wanted to count from one to one trillion, would it take you more than 23 days? Yeah. Anybody have a guess? Lizzie? 2,000 years? It would take you almost 200,000 years. And this approach is lots of repetition in different ways in many different kinds of activities. So they're getting the idea of how to count, how to calculate, how to think, many different kinds of ways and having fun doing it because there's quite a variety. So I really like that part of Quest. When students meet challenges with success, self-esteem is heightened. They become motivated to learn more. I think I'm learning a lot more because before I didn't even know what volume was. I didn't even know there was such thing as volume. I learned all the vocabulary for the squares and the rectangles and the circles. It's just a really great experience. And fascination with tessellating patterns have been around for a long time. Can someone describe to me uh, the polygons that you see in the picture. What about the sign that says Spring Street? What kind of polygons are those? In Quest 2000, all children learn and achieve success because they draw from the foundation of their own experiences. You need help? I really believe that in a multi-age classroom, the more hands-on activities, especially in math, the better. And I have a lot of learning centers around the room where kids have self-exploration, and I think that's where a lot of real learning takes place, is non-directed time for kids to explore. And Quest 2000 materials allow, allow kids that time and space to just sit down and work with the concepts with concrete manipulatives. And I think that's really a, a good approach. These students are learning valuable cooperative and communication skills as they work together to solve problems, experiences they will take into the workplace one day. It looks kind of like a bow tie or a whale. What kind of a shape is it? A hexagon. So you were real hopeful at the beginning. Yeah, because it looked, from there it looked, it's going to work. And then we just started working around with it and it didn't fit. You don't have to sit here writing problems and stuff. You can keep your hands moving and um, you learn the same amount. I think that the new math book is better because it has more fun stuff than the regular math books. 524, and what did you say originally? 563. Quest 2000 provides students with the skills they need to prepare for the real world challenges they will face one day. Quest works because when math skills and concepts are presented in context, they have more meaning. When creative problem solving is encouraged, children learn to explore a variety of ways to approach problems. And when students learn to work with one another, communication and social skills are enhanced. It's different by 10. Quest 2000 reaches all students so they can be successful in their adult lives. Our children deserve nothing less.